Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. Rather than treating our waste as an expensive and polluting problem, we can look at it as a resource to be mined over and over. Thus the circular arrows in the recycle symbol. During the course of this next chapter called the four R's, we will examine many aspects of waste reduction and reuse. But for now, let's meet an Albertan who has employed this new philosophy to create a successful business that's gaining attention all over the world. We got involved back in 1992. Uh, we were actually an industrial uh, upholstery manufacturing company and a friend of mine asked me to build a product for his dairy cattle. They used to use bags filled with straw. So we figured, well, we'll use a bag, but instead of straw, which will deteriorate, we'll use rubber. It went so well, we did one barn and then another and then another, and it just mushroomed into a full manufacturing plant. We did that for about four years, and then we decided to get into the, the molding line, which was the bricks and the tiles. But it basically, it all started with a, a cow needing a place to sleep. At exactly the same time, the Tire Recycling Board was created by then Environment Minister Ralph Klein to deal with piles of old tires which were clogging up landfills and creating a public health hazard. Allen got in on the ground floor and worked with them as they developed systems for collecting and recycling every tire in Alberta. There's only one stockpile left in Alberta, and that's basically at our processing plant here, which we do, like say, about four million plus tires a year. Every aspect of the process had to be invented or adapted by Allen and his partners. This includes the products themselves, which are designed to suit their customers' needs around the world. We go out, collect all the tires, bring them into central yards, pick them up with our uh, fleet of semis, bring them into the plant, sort them, run them through the shredder. From the shredder, we go into the processing line. The first process is actually taking the steel out of the tire, breaking it down from about a four inch chip to about a three quarter inch chip and removing the steel. From there it goes on to a series of shaker tables which the magnets pick off the steel and, and sort it into bins and the rubber then goes into different screens, the different sizes are sorted out, the fiber is sorted out from the tires and then is bagged and ready for production. It then goes into the manufacturing process which manufactures everything from an individual brick to a 5,000 pound access mat. In many jurisdictions, they burn their old tires for energy. Alberta's system adds economic value to the resource and is environmentally superior in three major ways. There is no pollution, there's no heat in the process, there's no chemicals in the process. Every part of the tire is recycled. The steel goes to smelters, the fiber goes for insulation in underground tanks, and the rubber is used in manufacturing. But when it comes back, if it's worn out, they can be recycled again, so it's a recyclable, recyclable product, which works really well. Reduce, reuse, and recycle are the familiar three R's of environmental education. Join us again for more stories about Albertans who are also reimagining a sustainable future. Mm -hmm.